Good day, this is Jim Bytel from Columbia Gorge Community College, Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is ET 121, Digital 1. Today we're going to discuss combinational logic diagrams. The key thing to remember is the nature of the input, whether it's pulsed or constant, does not alter the truth table of a circuit. At every given instant, it's going to respond as it would in the, tr in the, in the truth table. Okay, so just for a reference here, I'm going to write to the side the truth table for a NAND. So a regular AND is high only time, uh, is the only time an AND is high is when both inputs are high. So a NAND is the only time it's low is when both inputs are high. Okay, so it looks like we're using a negative OR followed by two NANDs for our outputs, our negative OR, our NAND, a negative OR. What is this implementation? It is a sum of products implementation. That's how we do it. Okay, so we don't even need to come up with a, a giant truth table for everything. We can just use the timing diagrams of signal A, B, C, and D as applied to this circuit. Okay, let's go for the simplest one. Y2. All it is is the inversion of C. So take C and invert it, and it's going to look like this. Boom, that's easy. Okay? So we got Y2. Okay, next one is let's do, well, let's just do Y4. Because Y4, all it is is the NAND of not C or Y2 and D. So the only time that that's low is when they're both high. So look at, let's look at Y2 and D. Okay, so they are both high right here during this period. So that's the only time that Y4 is low, and it's going to look like this. And there you go with Y4. Okay, so let's do Y1. Well, Y1, it's got a negative OR inputs of A and B, but we know that a negative OR is equivalent of a NAND. So let's just do the NAND of A and B. The only time it's low is when they're both high, like right here and right there and that's it so the only time it's low is when they're both high and so y one's gonna look like this and that's what y one's gonna look like so now y three is the NAND of y one and c so the only time it's low is when they are both high and it looks like this period right here and this period right here. That's the only time it's going to be low, so Y3 is going to look like this. So now we've got Y3 and Y4. All it is is the negative OR of Y3 and Y4, or the NAND of Y3 and Y4. So the only time that X is low is when Y3 and Y4 are simultaneously high. So it looks like it's going to be right here, this period. They're both high this period right here and then this period here those are the only time it's going to low so it's going to be low so x is going to look like this and there you go that's what x is going to look like okay so nothing too too hard about it again the nature of the input whether it's pulsed or constant does not alter the truth table of a circuit just even if you if you're asked okay at a specific time that's what's awesome about timing diagrams if you're asked at a specific time what is the output like I want to know what time at, what's the output at this time right here five seconds you just go through and say oh the outputs high pretty cool huh so there's a couple pretty good examples in that one section um, do them talk to you later